In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a fingerstyle arrangement of a song on one guitar using chord fragments. Putting the chords and the melody of a song together on one guitar when creating arrangements is a good starting point. However, it is just that, a starting point. From here, you need ideas and approaches to create an arrangement that expresses the tune in a musical and dynamic way. Hi, I'm Simon Candy from Acoustic Guitar Lessons online.net and in this lesson I'm going to take you through an excerpt from the tune Danny Boy and show you how chord fragments can bring a very rhythmic element to the arrangement. This is created through the interplay between the melody line of the song and the chord fragments themselves. It's not that there's anything wrong with simply putting the chords and melody of a tune together on one guitar but where to from there? You need ideas, concepts, and approaches to take the arrangement somewhere musically, as opposed to just going through the motions. Chord fragments are one such approach. What you're about to see is an excerpt from a masterclass I taught some of my online guitar students. Watch carefully as I walk you through the process of applying chord fragments to an excerpt from the song Danny Boy, and then show you how this approach combined with a basic version of the tune has the beginnings of a very cool and dynamic arrangement. At the end of this video, I have a very special free ebook audio that will take you even deeper into chord fragments and the many ways you can use these in your guitar playing. A lot of the time when you see chord melody arrangements in various educational materials and books and so forth, it's generally a sort of cookie cutter type arrangement that you might see, which is putting the chords and the melody together which sounds okay, I don't mean cookie cutter in a, in a really negative way here, but if that's all you do, just put the chords and the melody together, there's no scope from which to develop an arrangement. That's not an arrangement in and of itself. We're gonna take it somewhere and have some approaches in which to do that. So I'm gonna use a few different tunes as examples here today. And I'm gonna start with Danny Boy. And I'm just gonna play a little excerpt of Danny Boy here to give you an idea of what I mean by what I would sort of call cookie cutter, you know, straight up chords melody. So let me just do that so you can get a bit of a reference point here. Okay, so that's, that's what I mean by just straight up chords and melody. It sounds okay, but if I want to create an arrangement of that tune, where do I go from there if that's all I, I really know what to do? I'm going to keep on Danny Boy here, and I'm going to arrange this using fragmented chords, largely on the lower bass strings of the guitar, just to allow for room with melody, but, you know, it could be on higher strings as well with this approach. So what I've got here is I just want to lay out the, the structure from which to then work in. So here I've got just little fragmented chords to the harmony of Danny Boy. And into the second eight. into the B section. So don't be too focused on the exact chord voicings I'm using here. Just focus on the strategy. Um, the more voicings you know, the better, the more you'll be able to do. But even with just a limited degree of chord knowledge here, you can do quite a bit with this approach. You don't need to know a million chords. So we've got the basic fragments. Now what we want to do here is place the melody around those fragments. Okay, so I've got an example of that here with our tune Danny Boy and I've highlighted or circled the melody notes so you can distinguish them from the chords. So I'm going to play this for you, same thing, just adding in the melody. It's going to sound pretty mechanical, okay, we're just setting up the structure, the framework here. Okay, so let me play through this for you.
and into the B section. So even that sounds different to what we heard previously, even if you know, even just having it quite straight up. But the idea here is we want to develop interplay, if you like, between the melody and the chords, get a little bit of a dialogue going between the two. So you could see this almost as having the melody to the song and then just punching in the chords in between the phrases of the melody. So sometimes I refer to this as like a chord hit approach. Okay, so it's not so much necessarily chord and melody at the same time. It's, um, it's uh, you know, sort of interplay between the two. So I'll give you a little example. I'll play through this with a little bit more um, musicality to it, if you like, and a few ideas. <laughs> Okay, so I had a couple of little things in there, little scale runs, uh, a little bit of a diminished chord climbing up. Again, just not wanting to get too focused on all the details, but more the, the approach, right? The strategy here to develop a little bit of um, scope from which to draw from. Now, play that in a little bit of context for you. I'm going to layer things as we go along here. So I'm going to play the, the first version I did of Danny Boy for the... A section and in the B section I'm going to go into the chord fragment so you can kind of hear it in a little bit of context and what I want you to hear is the development of the tune so that we're developing an arrangement as opposed to just throwing melody and chords together so something like this <laughs> Okay, so there we've just played through one form of the tune, Danny Boy, but we hear development with the basic cookie cutter, if you like, approach versus, um, you know, developing it with some interplay between chords and melody. Okay, so let's just touch on some of the key concepts of that lesson, just to reinforce them for you. So the whole idea is the chord fragments. You heard me in the, in the lesson there sort of play a pretty straight up version of Danny Boy, which is fine. Yeah, and so on. But, you know, you can play through the form of the tune like that. It will sound great. But then what do you do the second time through, the third time through? I mean, I'm assuming you want your arrangement to be longer than a minute. So you could repeat that three times and it's not really going to go anywhere. So we need some other ideas. And one of the ideas in this lesson that we're focusing on is the chord fragments. So I took the tune or an excerpt thereof and just worked out some little chord fragments. So C major seven to a D seven. Fragments just being parts of chords, more than full chords. Room for the melody to come in and then the G7 to the C major 7, and then this was the diminished. I think I worked that up in minor third intervals, which always works nice for a diminished, and then you got a little part of a G major 7 chord there, A minor 9, D7, so G6, C, G, and we're into the 
B section. So I'm playing some fuller shapes there, but when I bring in the melody, I'm going to probably play less of the shape too. But I just want you to get the basic idea. And when we bring in the melody, we can then sort of play the melody against the chords a little bit more. We've got a little bit more interplay going on compared to a basic version of the tune. So um, I tend to play the A section of this tune a more, little bit more rubato, free of time. And then you saw in the video, lesson there and the lesson there, um, I, I played it, um, I sort of went from that, I think, into the B section with a little bit more of a, a um, yeah, tempo happening. So if I bring in a melody here with the fragments, and into the B section and I might do a walking bass or I might keep the fragments but go to tempo or, or a number of things but the point of this lesson of course is the core fragments and you can see how then that combined with more of a you know tra well, not traditional so much but just a straight up chord open chord um, and uh, melody arrangement can sound nice together and give the, the arrangement some scope and some development, like it's going somewhere, saying something. If you like the chord fragment approach I was using in this lesson, then you'll love this free ebook I've created for you about using fragmented chords to solo with on your acoustic guitar. Of course, chords are thought of in the context of rhythm guitar playing. However, have you ever considered them for your soloing too? In this ebook, I show you five unique ways to use fragments of chords like the ones in this lesson to solo with on your guitar. You will learn how to create a great dynamic with the contrast of single notes to chords in the lines you play. This will add great expression to your solos. All the examples in the ebook have been broken down into the finest of detail so you can not only play them but understand what is going on so you can use chord fragments in your own guitar solos and your own guitar playing. Click the link below in the description of this video and download your free copy of how to improve your acoustic guitar solos by using these five cool and easy tricks. Let me know in the comments section below if you use chord fragments in your own guitar playing. If so, how do you use them? I read every comment and I would love to steal a uh, I mean here, about ways you may be using fragments in your own guitar playing. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you know when new videos are released. This is Simon Candy from AcousticGuitarLessonsOnline.net and thanks for watching this video. As always, I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.